Thought that's some Medusa video for a minute, didn't you? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. I imagine they're all gonna run up here and have their healers. Whoa, 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 where's my team? Where's my team? I didn't rush the middle. What? Don't kill me. Oh, I hate trying to get away and you accidentally run into the wall. Feels like such a fail. Oh, they had... Look at these guys charging right in the middle of our team. What? What are you doing? No, you did not charge by one or two people in the middle of the entire enemy team unless you're a tank. <sighs> Especially not at, at the very beginning of the game. You know, whenever you're right soon as you get into a war front, you do not charge right into the enemy team. Because they're going to be... I mean, unless you're a tank or uh, a high DPS melee or something like that, that's going to have the healers keeping you up. But those guys were way away from their healers. There was no hope for them at all. That was very bad moves. Very bad. Always be cautious of how much you're getting into the pocket. You know, I call going right into the enemy team and being where they're going to target you with tab target. I call that the pocket. That's where you're getting in and you're probably going to take a lot of damage. So you got to be real aware of what's going on. If your healers are moving back away from you, you need to be aware of it. If there's a bunch of uh, enemies running in from respawn, you need to be aware of it. It might be time to start uh, slowly working your way out. So, yeah. Be very aware of your positioning. Well, these guys are seeming to go down without too much problem. You know, of course they do have their healers, but it seems like a lot of their healers have the runes. So once the runes get to ticking down on them, it's thinning out their heals on the other side. And they're not getting enough heals anymore. Yeah, this is pretty nice. You know, but it's all initiated by those first guys, you know. Those first guys that run in and get themselves killed right off the bat. Yeah, you're you're hindering your team big time. You know, if you're suicidal, just grab a rune. At least get some points for your team before you die. Because you're going to die anyway eventually with, this, uh, with the rune. So if you're just determined to die, grab a rune. You know, go hold on to it for a while. But then again, those guys might have been chasing the kill with me because I got pretty low in life right at the beginning. Look at this guy. Thinking he's going to run and hide. Nope, not going to happen, sir. But you can't be chasing kills like that. That's what I call kamikaze uh, chasing. That's, that's where you're diving right into the enemy team just trying to get that one kill. And you're okay with you dying just so that you have a chance of that one kill. That's really bad gameplay. What you should be shooting for is putting the other team in the graveyard and you not going to the graveyard. Don't be getting suicidal. Uh, this guy is looking like a nice target right here. Nice. Yeah, that guy wasn't interested in moving. He was just going to stand there and face tank three of us while he's got a rune ticking off on him. 
I guess so, huh? Alright, seems like we're cleaning up these guys pretty good, but they still got, they're only 100 point, less than 100 points behind, well, now they're over 100 points behind, but still, they're pretty close. They could make a comeback at any time here. There's that suicidal guy again. What is up with this guy? Well, I guess if you can slip away, you might as well just go to no life for no reason. You gotta be cautious about who you're picking as target, especially if you're a assassin rogue or nightblade. You know, pick a target that's standing off to the side. Don't jump right into the middle of the enemy team because you're you're not real tanky, you're not gonna be able to survive that. So make sure that you're picking your targets off the side and, or in the back of the enemy team or something like that. And then try to burst them down before uh, the rest of the team turns towards you. But if you're just sitting there hitting somebody right in the middle of the team, everybody's going... I meant to jump on the ledge there. Oh, that was, that was a little bit of a fail on my part. Accidentally went way too far forward. But yeah, I guess this video is going to be about me talking about uh, your positional awareness. Because if you are not positionally aware, you are going to be chain dying. And I see a lot of people doing that. Man, that's where you get the people that go like 0 and 8 and 0 and 10 in these war fronts and stuff. It's because they're not being aware of where they're going. Uh, even somebody in freelancer gear, they won't die that much if they're aware of their situation. They're, they're choosing to go to where they're going to die. Am I going to get him? Oh, I got to jump down in order to get this kill. Uh, Alright. Wow, this looks like a fast game. Low score, but seems like a fast game. It's been pretty, uh, pretty active. I've been putting arrows in people's butts the entire time. Am I going to get him? Yes, I am. <laughs> nice kill right at the end too. Twelve and oh, look at that fast game fast kills hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button if you did enjoy it and want to see more warfronts and as usual my name is grim and i will see you next time